Hey guys, welcome back. Today we've got another fixed knife for you. This is not a neck knife, but a uh, belt knife, plate carrier knife, um, throw it in your bag type of knife. This is a Medford Knife and Tool, and this is their Tan Pup. This is a discontinued model, guys. Um, but it's, it's a unique knife. So let's just pull it out here and uh, jump into the specs, which are a little hard to... Well, the overall length, I, I kind of measured this way, I guess, from the tip to the to the pommel or the breaker part uh, at six and five eighths inches. The blade length I measured from about here at the back of the choil to the tip at just over three inches with an, ed an uh, edge thickness or an edge length of 2.78. The thickness on this guy is 0.25. So this is a quarter inch, and the this is a particular one is in D2 steel. We've talked about the Medford lineup. They use D2, S35VN, and 3V, and a little bit of S90. But I think all of the tan pups came in D2. Um, the overall thickness is 0.51. So they are... Uh, OD Green G10 scales on both sides. The knife itself comes in at 8.02 ounces. And with the sheet, the whole package is 11.6 ounces. So it does have a tech lock. Uh, if you're not familiar with the tech lock belt clip, you have this uh, part that comes down here, you squeeze on the sides and then it opens up and you can put it on your belt that way. It's kind of cool, I didn't know for a while that these uh, pieces here actually pop out. And if you're lucky, you don't throw them on the floor. In my case, it did. Uh, but these come out and you can adjust it to fit your belt width. So if you've got a one inch belt, a one and a half inch belt, you know, whatnot, so that it has a tight fit on your belt so that when you do go to draw the knife, it doesn't move around. So, which is pretty cool. I didn't realize that that is how the tech locks worked until I had one uh, and was able to really play with it. And I didn't even notice it at the beginning when I first got it. So it is kind of a cool thing uh, so that you can adjust it to exactly where you need it for your carry option. So I saw this particular one on a video that uh, Amy had done showing that it was getting shipped out to a dealer um, to my very good friend, Jake Smith, the Medford guy. So I'll put a link to his website down in the description below. This one is PVD coated and this is how it came from the factory. They PVD coated it and then they tumbled it, I think, for like 24 hours, maybe less. But it's a tumbled PVD, which they don't typically do. But it gives it that look of it's been buried in the earth for, you know, ever. This is, I don't know, it fits in my hand okay, but it's actually a little bit cramped here. This needs to just, for my hand, be just a hair longer. This is not really something that I carry, I'll be honest. It is a last ditch kind of self-defense knife, very akin to the K-Bar TDI, which a lot of officers will wear, um, you know, appendix or offhand, so that if their primary weapon um, is, taken or they're in a struggle, they can reach and grab this with their offhand to come out and protect their weapon. So I know some officers that carry um, the TDI version of this, the K-Bar TDI, but this is what 
I don't know if that's what this was made after or, you know, because of that. I'm, I'm not sure how they came up with this, but it is a cool little thing. I saw it and I had to have it. So that's how I ended up with it. Like I said, it does fit in my hand. This knife with its Tonto blade is one of the sharpest Medfords that I ever came, that ever came from them to me. This one is the factory edge and it is crazy, crazy, crazy sharp. Uh, like almost scary sharp. I've gotten other things kind of professionally sharpened that have not necessarily been this sharp. I will say I am not a huge fan of this sheath. I don't know how to make it any better. I, I'm not a sheath maker, knife maker, but you just, you can't really grab it very well. You, you just don't get a good purchase on it. I didn't expect it to be like a handgun draw, but uh, you know, and I have thought about getting a, a sheath guy to maybe make a new one. And I think if it didn't have this piece here, it would be easier to get your fingers in and just draw. But I don't know. That's my one negative about it at all. Other than that, it's a really cool little interesting knife to have. Give you a couple little size comparisons just because. And then we'll wrap this up. It's a fixed blade and I kind of rambled on a little bit. But here it is next to a Sharpie, just to give you guys some perspective. Uh, how about the Spider Tenacious, since it's still out on the table? Um, you know, I gotta just throw out the Todd Big Steelcraft because I love this knife too. And last but not least, the uh, Chris Reeve Large Savenza 21. So there you have a pretty good comparison of the tan pup. I think it's totally cool. I think it's totally impractical for me. Um, I don't know. I just had to have it in my collection. Is this something I'm going to hold on to forever? Uh, you know, I've thought about selling this one before, but I'm more of a hoarder than a flipper. So I tend to hold on to my knives for a very long time. And I so far knock on wood, um, I have not sold any watches. So I've been collecting watches now since July and I have not sold any of those. Um, but I've also thought about letting a couple of those go. So anyway, thanks for watching. I know I kind of rambled on a little bit here at the end. Um, let me know what you think of the unique fixed blade knife from uh, Medford Knife and Tool. Thanks a lot, guys. You have a great day and we'll see you on the next one.